find the zeros here, we're going to replace it f of x with zero and solve the resulting equation. So this is already factored for us, and so we're essentially going to just take each of the factors and set them equal to zero. Well, we have this factor of negative four out in front. If I set that equal to zero, there's nothing for me to solve. There's no variable there, and that's not a true statement. Negative four does not equal zero. And so I essentially just need to take these two variable factors and set them equal to zero. Now if I look at uh, the exponents on those being squared there, that's actually telling me that I have this factor twice. But I don't necessarily need to set it equal to zero twice because I know I'm just going to get that same solution both times. But that is important. That's what it's referring to about the multiplicity. The multiplicity is essentially how many times do we get each of these numbers as a zero. And so because I would have that x plus one half factor twice, I would get this solution x equals negative one half twice. And so this zero, x equals negative one half, has a multiplicity of two. Now we get that zero two times. And when I take my other variable factor, that x minus five, and set it equal to zero, I get x equals five. And again I see that I have that factor three times. So I'd have x minus five equals zero again and x minus five equals zero again. Well I would just get x equals five then two more times. So I get that solution or that zero a total of three times. So this has multiplicity three. One of the things the multiplicity tells us is about the behavior of the graph of the function around these points. These are essentially x-intercepts because we have replaced the f of x or the y coordinate with a zero. So these, these would be points on the x-axis. And the multiplicity uh, will tell us whether the graph crosses the x-axis at that point or touches it and turns around. Another way to say it is maybe bounces off. Think of something like a parabola. If the vertex is right on the x-axis, it doesn't actually cross through the x-axis. It touches it and turns back around. So that distinction is made based on the multiplicity being even or odd. So here uh, with our first zero has a multiplicity of two. That's an even multiplicity and that indicates that the graph touches the x-axis and turns around at that zero. And so at this x equals negative one-half this graph would touch the x-axis and turn around. And so that's true anytime our multiplicity is even. An odd multiplicity would indicate that the graph crosses the x-axis. So our multiplicity of 3 here tells us that our graph would cross the x-axis at x equals 5. And so again, that's true for any odd multiplicity.